The FBI is pledging to help local law enforcement unlock encrypted or blocked smartphones. This comes after federal investigators had a hard time unlocking the phone that belonged to the San Bernardino shooter. News 18's Alexis Moberger reports local police haven't made any requests to the FBI yet, but they aren't ruling it out. If the phone is locked and we can't break that encryption, it, it's a brick to us. A brick that could be helpful to law enforcement when cracking a case. Although Lafayette police have not needed assistance, the FBI is now available to help unlock smartphones. Detective Paul Huff says it will be a useful service when needed. But if it was um, a murder or some high level felony, then that would be something we might ask the FBI to assist us on. The FBI's offer to help comes after police faced a similar challenge with the San Bernardino attacks. We've had several phones that have been locked, several phones related in different cases that we cannot break the encryption on. Huff says there have been many times where police were forced to resolve a case without any information from a phone, information he believes would have been useful. A lot of people aren't even using computers anymore, they're just using tablets or phones. And so if we can't get that data from a phone, are we just going to let the bad guys run? On the loose. Police say the iPhone 4S is the last Apple phone model they can unlock. And even when a victim wants a phone to be searched, he says Apple has even encrypted the unused. Say the victim gives us the phone and gives us the passcode and it's unlocked. We still can't get deleted content from an iPhone. It means to get this data, they're not just getting it from anybody, but it's, um, I think it's super important that they're able to get this information one way or another. Rachel Sitar has previously worked as an Indiana State Police analyst. She says help from the FBI would be a great tool for local law enforcement. Training and tools and all of that with the whole cyber field is expensive and it's hard. Training many smaller agencies can't afford. With assistance from the FBI, it would cut costs and help agencies out. Alexis Moberger, News 18.